Hey guys, this is Tim from Tim Planning Trunks Lab and welcome back to a bit of a different video than usual. That's because my girlfriend uh, bought the Fitbit Charge 3. Uh, it's supposed to be a waterproof device that you can use whilst uh, exercising swimming. Uh, it's capable of being water resistant to 50 meters as you're able to see on the box so that means when you go for a dive you can dive until 50 meters and that should still be within the capabilities of the water resistant seal my uh, girlfriend went down to 2 meters and then the device started acting up it started showing all kinds of different screens it didn't vibrate anymore the heartbeat sensor on the bottom stopped working the battery was discharged in oh, I think she said uh, half an hour the screen is not fully lit anymore you know all kinds of weird different stuff is going on with this watch now unfortunately she, uh, she bought it second hand so the warranty is long gone um, and she's planning to buy a new one so I said to her I love you but this thing is probably dead I can take it apart but you know it's dead uh, she says well do what you gotta do now it's here I've uh, tried to reset it a couple of times using a soft and hard reset uh, that didn't work I tried turning it off you can actually turn this thing off you need to put it in the cradle like so make sure that the cradle has got power and then you've got to hold this button until the bar on the screen is completely full and then you gotta release it and remove it from the cradle if you see that smiley face during that process that means that you've failed to shut down the device and if you want to power it back up you'll just have to insert it into the cradle apply power and it should come back to life now Fitbit Charge 3 probably be water damage so let's grab my microscope and we'll tear this thing apart so it turns out that I can't zoom out far enough on the microscope so I'll just have to zoom in with my main camera now you need to remove these straps which obviously you probably know how to do and then there will be two screws over here one there and one over there you need to remove them on both sides the screen will be glued in place now I think that's my theory that if this thing has water leakage the screen will just come off because the seal the, the glue seal is probably broken so let's try to figure that out it's a Torx I think it's a T2 so very small but it should be in there fortunately my screwdriver kit has a bit that actually fits this screw so now I think that this should just lift out or something maybe I didn't loosen it enough I'm very curious to see what's inside and how small the electronics are there we go so put that aside so the one with the do not throw away battery icon is at the top now I can already see I don't think you can but I can already see some condensation happening over here that's not a good sign like so 
so. All the screws are still in place. And now, removing the screen will be very challenging. Ooh. Ah, one of the levers fell out. That will just slide upwards like that. And the spring will come out. Now removing the screen will be very challenging as it's glued to the device. But I've got an idea. I'll use some hot air to hopefully warm up the glue so we can remove it. I'm going to use 190 degrees for this at my lowest setting. Now I do have one of those pull up thingies, but yeah, that's a little bit too big. So let's see how this goes. Yeah, I think that I can see bubbles on the uh, heartbeat sensor, so let's... I think the glass is quite heat resistant. Look at the back side of the sensors, and they're all covered in... Uh, this is unfortunate. I was hoping that the glass would lift out or fall down actually. Just insert a white knife. There we go. There we go. Now unfortunately we're not able to see how the seal was since the seal broke. But I think the condensation on the back says more than enough. Yes. Never thought I would use the absolutely smallest T1 bit ever. But hey, there we have it. Oh, I can see uh, two new screws. They're below this part, so this needs to come out somehow. Look over here, there's a screw. And over there is a screw. Let me check if I can reach it. Oh, I think I'm in. Yeah, that's one. Mm 
that's the other one. Look at how tiny this thing is. Now these are the electronics. It's absolutely tiny. So we'll just remove the screen for now. So I think that this is the main Bluetooth chipset because there's BLE written over it. But everything else looks fine. All the contacts look fine. What's this down here? A microphone of some sort or pressure sensor. I think it's a pressure sensor. This is the button. It's a side over here, the button. And this is probably the flat flex for the sensors at the back. We are still condensated as... Yeah. Let's not say that. Let's try to remove this connector. Because I think we do need to remove the main PCB. And this connector isn't really cooperating with us. There we go. And we also need to remove the button. And now I think we should probably be able to lift this thing up somehow. Um, I think, oh, we need to remove the vibrator first. Let's see. Like so, and now we can hopefully... ...remove this. And now we have access to... ...the side. And we should be able to lift it out. There we go. Ooh, I can immediately see the problem. Ooh, yeah, that's bad. That's water damage. That's water damage over here as well. Some corrosion. Over here at the pins. There's some over here. The sticker. Yep, other damage. So the seal wasn't good enough. And water just seeped in. So we are going to clean this in an attempt to hopefully fix it. Let's move this out of the way. We're shooting a little thumbnail there. And let's try to clean up this gunk out of this uh, device now. 
Not entirely sure about this. This thing is over here. If it's just rubber or if it's... It does look like it's just rubber. Well, just let's just leave it in place. Let's see what a bit of alcohol spray will do. Oh, that already cleaned up this thing big time. As in really big time. Uh, it's also starting to look rather nice. There are a few things corroded. You know, like the balls down here. And I'm not really keen on putting my soldering iron down there since that will just probably ruin this thing so but it's really starting to look uh, better it amazes me that they didn't put a conformal coating of some sort over this thing I mean like, do you want your devices to go and to short circuit and to malfunction? That's it. I thought Fitbit was a good company but when I see this it, it's uh, total bullshit. I mean why wouldn't you put a conformal coating over a sports device that is made to get wet? Why would you take the risk? Yeah, well, so they're going to buy a new one once this one is broken. But this just, this is just ridiculous. This is really ridiculous. Now this side looks pretty clean. I think it got a little bit wet, so I'm going to wipe it off. But this is okay. Inside, it's. I'm hoping that uh, some of the things are not damaged. The uh, rubber seal you see around here probably prevented water from getting to the other side. So that's good. But over here, there's some other residue as well. Try to peel off this sticker. I think that's pretty clean now. Now I do see something over there. Not sure what that is, but let's just zoom in. Because we've got more than enough zooming capabilities left. Uh, it looks terrible. It looks really terrible. What's this, man? It's starting to look that those are some charcoal capacitors or something. I think I really need to get this board out to give it a proper clean. An ultrasonic cleaner would have been massively helpful right now. I'm just 
just drop this thing in and push a button and it will get cleaned. So Banggood, if you're listening, hit me up. Or AliExpress. Now here's your source of the problem, because this thing leaked and then water entered the system. There we go. Yeah, there's your water. I'm pretty sure that isn't alcohol over here. Down in there, there's water everywhere. No, that isn't alcohol. It can't be alcohol. Since this has a waterproof seal at the bottom. But let's use the hot air gun to slowly try to evaporate the water. Let's put it at 100 degrees. Is running so I try to remove most if not all of the glue because I'll be reapplying some myself later on and I found another toothbrush that well hopefully is a little bit cleaner that I'm going to use to clean this once again I'll be connecting everything in order to perform a test and for that this needs to go back in well basically everything needs to go back in so let's put this back in I'm not sure if you are able to see it but it's working again. Yes. Only problem, the screen. We do need to get a new screen. But other than that, it's working. So unfortunately, due to a broken screen, it wraps it up for now. There are some screens available online that you can order to replace this broken screen uh, I might replace it but I'm not sure I was focusing on this thing but maybe this thing is also well I might replace it I'm not sure uh, there are some screens on Aliexpress they're like uh, 14 euros so that's not uh, a hell of a deal uh, but it's my girlfriend and you know if she doesn't want to spend any money on it, then that's that. So, but of course, if a new screen is going to be installed, I will, guys, I will let you know. I will record a video of it and hopefully this thing uh, will start working again. So, what I'm going to do in the meantime is I'm going to, well, actually put it back together. But I'm not going to connect the battery and the screen so that it doesn't charge and it you know it can't be damaged any further as i said i'll not connect the battery i'll just uh, leave it flipping around in the breeze now i think i'll need to cover it before it it gets shorted out I can I can bend it over like so and cover it with tape. I hope. Cool. So that's that. 
and this is also fine like this now it's time to slide these slightly pieces back on All right, so that's that. It's together. So again, guys, thanks for watching this video and I dearly hope to see you in part two. Bye. Oh, hey, hello. Uh, I, I wasn't expecting you over here. Well, if you want, you can also view two other videos of me. So make sure to click them and don't forget to subscribe and like so you always get notified of my new videos.